What's up guys, in this video we are going to be looking at or adding sliders to our app in Titanium Studio. So uh, I hope that you've or most of you have seen sliders, it's basically one with a long line and then you have this like circle or whatever in the middle and you press on it and you move left and right and the value changes depending on uh, where you stop that circle. Uh, I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so without any more rambling, I'm just going to start writing code. Uh, if you've been following my video, all you need to do is just clear out the app.js. Uh, and if you haven't, don't worry, all you need to do is just create a default, a uh, new default project and delete the whatever's inside your app.js. Okay, so let's start with a window. So var win equals uh, tie.ui.create window. And inside here, we're just going to keep the background color to uh, white. F, 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 F. And like so, that's it. Okay, we are going to be creating a slider. Uh, let's call it var slider1 or slider01. I prefer to be 01. Equals tie.ui.create slider. And then we are going to have a couple of options. Now, uh, because we want to, we don't want to uh, fiddle around with the height, I'm just going to set it to auto. And the width is going to be uh, 300 pixels. And the top is going to be, I don't know, maybe 100 pixels or 150. 100 pixels will do. So 100 pixels from the top. And then uh, if you're creating one for Android, as well as iPhone or just Android, we need to set the va min value and the max value. So we want the min to be zero and the max to be, I don't know, 10 would do, 10 sounds good. So the slider is going to slide between zero and 10. Okay, now uh, we also want uh, a text to be displayed every time you move the slider so we know uh, where we are in that slider. So let's create var, uh, Label zero one equals uh, tie dot ui dot create label and inside here we are going to say we're going to give the text so move the slider above yep and below that we are going to give a height of about forty pixels and then the width is going to be auto we don't really need to touch the width because it's going to change depending on where the slider is well I'll show you in a sec and then the top is going to be 140 so it's just below the position of the slider okay and don't forget the semicolon now what you want to do is create uh, this sliders event listener so when the sliders position changes we want to do something to our label. Okay, so what we're going to do is say slider zero zero one dot oops, I don't know why I'm keep on pressing space add event listener listener. And in here we are going to write change because we want to uh, look at the change in the position of the slider. And as usual it's going to be function E. And inside here what we want is the result uh, not some result, the label zero one dot text. So the text of the label one is going to equal e dot value. Now what this means, basically this uh, e dot value represents uh, the position of the slider, and the position of the slider is basically the value of the slider. So so you've got a slider between zero and ten. So the min is zero and the max is ten, and you put your slider right at the middle that means that the value is going to equal five uh, hopefully it's going to be a little bit easier to understand once i show you this uh, app okay and don't forget at the end to add a uh, win dot add slider zero one and win oops, win dot add a uh, label zero one and win dot open like so. Okay, hope everything's clear and I'm going to start my actually wait. There's a problem with top. How is that a problem? What does it say? Uh, 
Oh, sorry about that. I forgot the comma after width there. And hopefully this is going to go. So let's run our iPhone simulator. Yep, the error's gone. Okay. Uh, God, there's always going to be this awkward silence or this like couple seconds where I have no idea what I should talk about. But hopefully Titanium Studio is going to help me. Yep, they did. And it's going to put me up with the iPhone simulator. And the app is going to load anytime soon. Oh, script error. Uh, oh, oops. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see where I've gone wrong. It says there's a problem with the function slider 01.add event listener. What I did was if I go to this event listener, I wrote listener wrong and I've got this extra R that's screwing up my app. So let me delete that, save it again, and reload, come on, my iPhone simulator. Uh, hopefully this time there's no going to be no like stupid, uh, what do you call it? Typos. Yeah. Come on. Yep. Oh, that was quite fast. Hmm. Yep. Powered by titanium and it's going to load. Okay. So this is a slider and we have this default uh, slider image and we have this default button. And if I click on it and drag the labels text which was supposed which by default was was it moved the slider above or something has now changed to the value of the slider and that changes depending on where I've moved my slider to so the minimum is zero maximum is ten roundabout here is five come on five five there we go oops oh well and that's about two point five and that's about seven point five so that's the default slider now uh, this itself is really cool but then what if you could change the sliders image so what if you could uh, customize the slide itself if what if you didn't like this white and blue slider and this white uh, circle and you wanted something different for your app or it doesn't fit the theme what you could do is use uh, custom images for this so let me close my uh, titanium uh, sim iPhone simulator and then in my desktop in my magic untitled folder in this video I've added uh, four images now what they are is these are two bars and two button over images or no two bar and two button images now this button image is basically the image for the sliders background itself and this is going to be the image for the which is going to replace that default boring circle so I'll show you what happens so I'm going to add this to the default resources directly and I'm just going to click OK to uh, what was it to copy the files okay so now I have all the four files inside my app in the resources now where should I write this uh, var slider one below uh, the label above the slider event listener I'm going to give it some space and write my new slider. So var slider 02 equals tie dot ui dot create slider. And inside here, there's going to be a couple more properties. So the height of the slider itself, we don't want to touch. So it's going to be auto like, the, like before. The width is going to be 300. It's not going to change. And the height is going to be... Uh, no, the height is auto and we want it to be instead of uh, what you got it figuring up how many pixels we want from the top we're going to say we want it to be this time from the bottom so from the bottom we want it to be about uh, I don't know 60 60 pixels from the bottom sounds about good or I don't know I could make it 50 50 sounds about okay. Now I'm, I'm going to add new properties called thumb image. Okay. And that is the image for the slider bar. Okay. And that is going to equal a uh, bar dot PNG, which is this one over here. So this one, 
okay and uh, thumb no no I need highlighted some image which is this one so highlighted some image is going to be bar uh, over dot png you'll see what all of these are in a second once I load my app and I am going to say right track image is going to equal button dot uh, png and this uh, no not highlighted left track image is going to be equal button over dot png and anything else yep I want my min value and my max value so min is going to be zero and max is going to be 100 and uh, I could give it a value so default value but no let's just stop it like that and make sure to have my semicolon at the end okay uh, shall I add the label I guess I'm going to add the label as well no before I add my label I'm just going to load my project so that you guys who are absolutely confused or perplexed or baffled whatever you want to call it at what all these or each of these images do I'm going to quickly show you what they are before I write my event listener and my label so uh, the iPhone simulator is loading hopefully there's not going to be any stupid typos or errors come on give me a slider yep I think it's fine yep it's fine and no it's not fine oh okay oh, I'm being an idiot again I didn't add the slider 2 into this win so win.add slider 0 2 god I can't believe how stupid I could be sometimes especially when I'm recording hmm launching application come on Hmm. Yep. There we go. And hopefully the program or application writes. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. So the default image of this is like so. We have this white round or circle uh, bar or this thing that we move. And the left side of the slider is blue and the right, the right side is white. And that changes. And now this one has this uh, is different. Now if I press this you see that the, the color of this circle changes it gets darker like so if I click on it or by default it's blue, uh, green but if I click on it it turns red so that's basically the bar and the bar over now if I go over here this is basically the left track image the left side of the image which is this button over and this is the right side of the image like so so automatically if I click on it this color change from green to red and whether I go left or right the width of the uh, image in the track image changes like so so it looks as if it's moving actually it is moving what am I saying okay I wanted to create the label and the event listener for the my slider 2 as well just like my slider one but I'm already past my 30 minute mark and the video is getting a bit too long so I think I'll stop it there if you want to create a that changing number uh, label thing all you need to do is add another label call it level 2 or something and add another event listener exactly the same with a slider zero one but change it change that thing the slider name and the label name from slider zero one to slider zero two and the label zero one to label zero two so uh that's about it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later